Hi everyone. So today I'll be telling you about complex numbers and it's just a basic lecture on complex number. What are they and what are the types? So what we'll be studying, what are complex numbers? Uh, what are real and imaginary part of complex numbers and equality of complex numbers, right? So let us start with it. And uh, yeah, so suppose if you have uh, equation x square plus one equals to zero, right? So what will happen here, x square, you'll start getting at negative one, right? And till now you must have studied that under root, you have maximum value of any square is zero, right? Suppose two times two, I multiply, you get four, which is a positive number, right? And negative two times negative two, when I do that also you get is a positive number. So whenever you are doing square of anything, you are always getting positive numbers, right? They are not getting, you are not getting anything lesser than zero, but here, something square is giving you a negative number, right? So that is the reason why they does not come under the category of real numbers. They are imaginary numbers, right? Now we had to represent in math since we are getting them, isn't it? So what we did that we started representing with a symbol called iota, okay? And this x, you get it as under root of negative one. Yeah. And under root of negative one, you started calling it as iota. Iota is nothing but under root of negative one. So remember, what is iota? Iota is under root of negative one. That's it. Okay. So complex number can have two parts, right? I can write some other numbers also with iota. Isn't it? This iota is what? Imaginary number. Okay. This iota is imaginary numbers. So it can have two parts, right? So complex number, I normally represent it by Z. Okay. And it is X plus I Y, right? This is real part. Okay. Real part of complex number. This is imaginary part of complex number. Got it. This is real part of complex number. This is imaginary part of complex number. Real part normally I denote by R E Z. Imaginary part I denote by I M Z. Okay. So this was just a hint about complex number. Complex number are the number that are expressed in the form of A plus I B, where I is a imaginary number and I call it as iota. Right? Okay. So two plus three I say if I write two plus three I, right? So this is the real part. This is the imaginary part. Okay. So this was just a hint about complex number and uh, yeah, let us see the properties of I. So how the things will be happening with I. Okay. Now I, I have, right. I, I have, okay. And I am talking now about powers of I, right. Powers of I. Okay. So suppose this is not suppose it is I is under root of minus one. So what will I get? I square. I square. I get it as minus one, right? Then I cube. I can write it as I times I square. So that would be equal to minus I, isn't it? I to the power four. So means I square times I square. I can write and this would be minus one times minus one, that would be positive one, right? So see what is happening. Two, whenever you have power three, right? Whenever you have power four, you are getting it as one. Power three, you are getting as minus i and power four. Power two, you are getting as minus one, isn't it? Right. So you just have to remember that i to the power four m will be one, right? Because every time the multiple of four would be there, right? It would be getting you as one. Right. So just remember this thing. Okay. So that's what it is. And uh, yeah, if you have I to the power four M plus one, that will give you I, isn't it? If you have I to the power four M plus two, that will give you minus one. And if you have I to the power four M plus three, that will give you minus I. So these four things you have to remember regarding I power regarding the power of i okay so suppose you have uh, okay a question saying that um, 
um what would be say i to the power uh, 19 suppose if i so i'll directly divide that number by 4 right so 4 fours are 16 i have right so i can write 4 times 4 plus 3 this value will turn out to be 1 and then i have i cube remaining so that would be minus i so that's how you'll be doing the things okay so i hope this is this was just a basic about complex number more we will follow in other lectures